metals and non-metals tend to undergo characteristic reactions. So by identifying where an element appears in the periodic table, you can predict how it's likely to react in order to try and gain a full outer shell. What we see is that metals on the left-hand side of the periodic table tend to lose electrons in order to form positively charged ions. You can think about why this is by thinking about the position of metals in the periodic table and then what this tells us about their electronic configuration. We know that the periodic table is organised in order of increasing atomic number. For a neutral atom, the atomic number also tells us about the number of electrons in an atom of that element. Therefore, as we travel left to right across a row or period of the periodic table, we slowly fill up an electron shell. For example, all elements in the second period or second row have outer electrons in the second shell, which we know can hold eight electrons. Lithium is in group one and therefore has one electron in the outer shell. And as we move to beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and then neon, each time we add an additional electron to the second outer shell. Metals are found on the left-hand side of the periodic table, meaning that in general, their group numbers are lower than for non-metals. We looked at how atoms will react in order to get a full outer shell. And in this specific example, our reaction in order to gain a full outer shell involved the addition of three electrons. However, an atom can also lose electrons in order to gain a full outer shell. This is most likely for elements that don't have that many electrons in their outer shell to start with. For example, for beryllium, it's easier for beryllium to lose two electrons in order to get a full outer shell, so that the first electron shell is full, rather than gain the six electrons that would be required in order for the second outer shell to be full. And this is why we tend to see that metals lose electrons in order to form positively charged ions. This is because it's easier for them to gain a full outer shell by losing electrons rather than gaining electrons. And again, this is because metals are on the left-hand side of the periodic table and therefore tend to have outer electron shells that are far from being full. We can look at an example. This diagram shows the nucleus and electrons of an atom. If we look in the nucleus, we can see that this atom contains three protons. Hi guys! To continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCC chemistry and combined science videos, just click on the Snap Revive smiley face. Join me today and together let's make chemistry at GCSE a walk in the park.